Um, let's move on to the next question. This one from Peter Karadimus. Hello, DF gents. I've noticed quite a few GPU reviewers focusing on either rasterized performance or like-for-like -like settings with upscaling when comparing GPUs between vendors. It seems like an odd comparison because of the massive gap in quality between DLSS and FSR. Should reviewers be trying to match roughly equivalent image quality for benchmarks, even if it end, even if that ends up being DLSS performance against FSR quality, in order to more closely match how users would actually configure games using these GPUs? Um, I'm going to kick off the discussion here by saying that, um, yeah, I mean, the, the concept of apples to apples benchmarks definitely had its place during an era where GPUs were essentially interchangeable and did the same job. They are not doing the same job now. And we are dealing with a world where, you know, 80 to 90 percent, according to NVIDIA, of, NV of um, RTX users are using DLSS. So, you know, to what extent are these metrics actually usable? Um, Alex, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, which is Alan Wake with the new update, with the RTX Mega Geometry update, oh, yeah. where you are seeing a performance boost with RTX Mega Geometry, but also a quality boost, right? And the, what this means yeah. is that if you ran the game on the same settings on a, any other vendor's card, you th may think you're comparing on an apples to apples basis, but you are actually looking at two different outputs which means it yeah. isn't apples to apples testing, which calls into question whether you should be benchmarking Alan Wake at all if your strategy is apples to apples testing. What, yeah, how would that, you how would you unravel that particular one? That is a fundamental question that we're going to be entering very sh shortly into an era. We already see this a little bit with Cyberpunk, where um, you know if you were to play the game with pass tracing on not having ray reconstruction is one of the worst things you could do like it's gonna make the game especially in the transformer model now like way better and if you're comparing it versus you know the amd or intel card trying to run that the standard denoisers just cannot keep up quality wise uh with what ray reconstruction is doing so you you're just testing this artificial scenario that doesn't exist but in, in Alan Wake, it's even more fundamental. The geometry that is being ray traced against is wholly different and higher quality. And you're not even comparing anything the same anymore. So we should maybe not even use this as a benchmark title. I mean, I I don't know. It's uh, the reviews have to change really soon, I feel, to reflect this aspect of features and software differences and talk about more about the experience more. And uh, yep. I think Hardware Unbox did do a number of tests with like, you know, eyeballed quality between DLSS and FSR, and then they gave numbers for that. And I thought that was a really reasonable stance about it. Um, but carrying that throughout your entire review, I don't even know what the workload looks like there because you'd have to like eyeball it on a per title basis. Yeah. <sighs> It sounds like a lot more work that I don't even know how to start with. I don't know. This is a very hard question to come up like a great solution and answer to. Um, what if you have to great question, actually end though. up benchmarking um, native against DLSS? Um, that would that oh would be goodness. quite tricky, especially in a world now where the transformer model is showing some um, uh, quality advantages over native TAA. <laughs> it's, like it's all the time, crazy. yeah, in a lot of aspects. Yeah. Like before it was like a good deal of the image could look a lot better, but now it's like, oh my gosh, overwhelming amounts of the image can look better. So, yeah. The outlook's not yeah. looking good for the old bar chart, is it? And um, I, I, I don't have answers to this. And um, I'm really going to be interested to see how uh, the press handle this. Uh, what could I say? I, I'm really looking forward to see what people come up with.